the ink dries on the aftermath deal chronic 2001 comes out and it just uh explodes and then you're are you overseeing the deals that you know dre is doing an aftermath i assume like did you oversee like the m&m deal yeah there? yeah you did you did we okay did all, all right. those yeah all right so you've gotten to meet m m a couple of times <laughs> okay here's the do you have a good m you know i'm from detroit so we'll we'll take an m m story all right Peter, so dre <laughs> calls me up and he goes yeah. i found this kid you got to get it done it's tuesday so it's got to be signed by friday we got to get this kid done you know dre's got the great ear and he he knew m m was the good so he wanted it done before anybody else could get involved and you know the other problem too is whenever dre would be interested in people other people would sign him anyway because it was dre and they, well if dre's into it it must be good so we yeah. we rushed the deal and we got it done and i did you avoided a bidding war though just to, to for the record yeah. there was no yeah no it's got done okay. i did the deal with paul rosenberg yep. who's the manager now but was a lawyer then so a few weeks later, I'm in a meeting over at the Interscope offices, and we're all in a meeting, and this guy puts his head in and he says, hey, I'm here, Jimmy. And he goes, why don't you go wait in the other room, and uh, and I'll see you in a second. I go, what was that? And he goes, that's, that's uh, Eminem. I go, oh, I just did this whole deal with him. I, you know, I was dealing with him. I never met him. So our meeting ended. I said, I'll go say hi to him. I go, and he's sleeping on the couch. <laughs> so I put my card on his chest you know just so he know that i was there and you know because i'd been dealing with paul and apparently jimmy says he woke up saw your car and thought he was going to get arrested and he ran out to <laughs> what 